That's what happened. Jenny, how old are you, honey? I'm 34. 34. What you do for a living? I'm a nurse. Nurse. You have any kids? I have a two-year-old son. Okay. Why are you not with the dad? Um, I was a house. He wanted me to be a housewife when we first met, and I decided to kind of change and wanted a career, and he didn't want that for me, so he gave me an ultimatum. And it's to stay at home and be a housewife or leave and have a career. So I left. You get nothing. You lose. Girl, girl we may want to smack you in the face right now. Oh. So let me ask you this. Was he paying all the bills? He was. So. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. And did you, when you guys got married, that was the plan? Yes. What did he say? Hey. Oh, oh, oh. And did you, when you guys got married, that was the plan? Yes. 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 This woman had it all. She gave it up for selfish reasons. And this is the reason why so many women die alone. You made it. You got married to a man paying all the bills. And you want to give that up? Hit me with that slap button. Oh! I'm, I'm, I'm done. Roll the intro. What's going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button on your way in, tickle that notification bell that will allow you to know every time I upload new content. You know what we're gonna do y'all. Before we get into anything, say it with me y'all. We're gonna roll that clip. You lose. So basically you had him, your husband, he was your husband? Mm -hmm. So he was your husband? husband yes you guys had a family yes you agree to be a stay at home yes. mom what made you want to get a job um when i had to constantly ask for a couple of dollars to do stuff when it was no i can't do certain things that i wanted when it was no we can't we don't have enough money to do activities because you know one income and I'm like, well, this is not the lifestyle that I want to live. Like, I just don't want to sit at home and fold clothes and not actually date and have the extra money to do stuff. Like, I just didn't want to fold clothes all day long. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, it, I understand why other people will like, like, like it and stuff like that. But after, like, eight years, it just wasn't for me. I mean, I understand. I, I, I think women should have their own coin to some degree, right? Um, I guess, was there a conversation about maybe you going to work eventually? Wait, is your child by him? Yes. So when did you guys get divorced? A year ago. So you got divorced when your baby was one? Yes. And when, well, my, my son is, uh, he's, he's going to be three. He's going to be three. Got you, got you. So do you guys co-parent well? We'll leave it at that. So I guess, why was it an ultimatum for you? Why didn't he want you to work at all? He He's just one of those alpha guys who just wanted to lead, wanted to, he was just one of those type of men. And I, like in the beginning, it was cute, you know, like, okay. And then after a while, it's like, can I have $20? Like, I wasn't, I didn't have a credit card. I didn't have anything. It was like. And he and wasn't so, giving it to you? He, oh, he oh wouldn't have like a credit card that you could just go to the was, bank when you wanted to? It was a limit. It was a limit. And the limit was very low. Once again, and I understood why. I understood why. But it just wasn't for me. But keep in mind, this is what women won't tell you. She wanted the luxury lifestyle. It wasn't that he couldn't give her her basic needs. No, she wanted a Mercedes. She wanted a Birkin. She wanted Red Bottom. She wanted Louis Vuitton. She wanted Chanel. She wanted the luxury items. She wanted a cruise. That's what she wanted. And because this man was a middle-class man making middle-class money, 
And keep in mind, there's only one income. There's only so much shopping that you can do. And not only do they not co-parent well, she got a divorce. And I want you to pay close attention. She didn't have to work. She didn't have to pay significant bills. She didn't have to worry. Her basic needs are being met. Food, water, home, shelter, basic needs are being met. But see, this woman wants to throw it all away to do it all on her own. Please do not address me as a strong, independent black woman. It's not a compliment. I never hear a man that is raising children alone say, I'm mom and dad. He never becomes overly feminine because he's raising children. But we as women become overly masculine because we are raising children. Because I'm mom and dad and I got to do all these things, right? And now I put extra stuff on me and then I say, ain't nobody helping me. Well, nobody told you to do that. There is help available. All because I was trying to overcompensate for what daddy wasn't doing. I didn't have to be mom and dad. Now they got Mr. Chris and Mr. Eric over here. And I took them to be a part of different organizations. Because when you think of something strong, you do not think of coming to the aid of it. See, a lot of women, they don't know how to not be a strong, independent woman. They think having to work and think that having to provide for themselves is normal and it's not. It's not normal for a woman to have to go out and provide. It's abnormal. Ladies, you need to understand that you've won if a man is willing to provide, take care, and treat you with respect. You have won. So why would you then go back to the BS that you tried so hard to get out of? Men are just miserable. That's what it is, y'all. They're just miserable. They're unhappy. They're single. Bitter and single. You ever see a single woman walking down the street? They've always got their face balled up, angry at the world, trying to stare down anybody that looks at them. They're just so angry. And why are they angry? They're angry because the world won't give them what they want and they want a man. Ladies, you have to realize in order to get a man, you have to let go of that masculine energy. You have to let it go. That masculine energy is not what you need. You need to be feminine. You need to be submissive. You need to be a woman that a man would desire. This is why over here we preach, be what a man wants. You need to care what men want. Men Control the access to relationships. You control the access to your body. And it's time for you to start taking relationships seriously. If that's what you want, go get it. But you can't get it if you're too masculine, if you're strong and independent. Men don't like that. You know what men want? Talk to men. If you want to know what we want, there are plenty of men in this comment section right now telling women what we want. We don't like it when you're masculine. We don't like it when you're a modern woman. We don't like it when you nag us to death, when you talk back for no reason, when you belittle us and you talk down on us and you ridicule us in front of the world. Stop it. Get some help. You demean us and disparage us instead of building the black man up. Then you wonder why we want to go overseas. Nobody wants to deal with that. This is a woman that had it all and gave it up to be strong and independent. And this is why women will continue to die alone. Because they don't care. Women do not care about their future. Women do not care about their livelihoods. Women do not care about getting a man. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. Do not forget, I will be going live Wednesday night, 6.30 p.m., 
all of the ladies in the place, we want to hear from you. If you believe submission is slavery, we want to hear from you. The link to the live is in the video description. Bookmark that link, set a reminder so your face can be in the place. And until the next video, peace.